Hey there, kitties. It's Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Tower Ride. Hey, <laughs> Um, just got paid Wednesday <clears throat> from my uh, wonderful new job of being a um, hourly paid uh, homeless person, holding up a sign for a company, and um, I've got a new title in my whole um, literature, literature, oh, whatever you say, I'm trying to sound smart and I end up sounding stupid, <laughs> um, but uh, my new my new title in my uh, collection of titles amongst those you know Mr. Zero uh, uh, comical weirdo etc etc Bizarro comic Woo! and all that um, new new name would be uh, you've heard of Pennywise the Dancing Clown by Mr. Zero the Grooving Clown because while I'm out there swinging my sign as it's warmer. I feel like, you know, I, I'm more or less, I'm not wearing a heavy coat, so I'm less constrained. So I'm kind of like grooving out, man, to uh, the music that I'm listening to on my MP3 player. I haven't done any actual, like, clowning, clowning, although many people probably look, look at that clown shoes, as they're passing by. I, I've had some positive response, too. I had a truck, workman's truck, pulling up, making a right-hand turn. They're watching me as I'm dancing around. Um, I think I was listening to Korn. I was dancing around to that, and, uh, they start, like, headbanging along with me to the same beat that I'm going to, and I see them. So I start like, <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, you know, that was positive. So probably soon I'll probably actually, like, ask if I can wear makeup or anything. Kind of makes me feel more comfortable. Also, you know this, I am wearing overalls. I bought some of these. These work pretty good as a... Uh, these are a size 54. I usually... Um, my pants that I normally wear for uh, clowning is a size 50 trouser. And these are way baggier. More um, baggy pants. So I kind of like them. I probably will buy more of these. And uh, they're easier for me to find. I can buy these. These are Craftsman brand, so I can buy these at Sears and have no problem finding them. Uh, so, I just take them. They're all stone washed in this size. They only come in stone washed, so I just take them and I've dyed these to make them darker. I tried dyeing them black and it was kind of more of an indigo color. But it's fine. They look like um, dirty, dirty uh, jeans. So, it's all good in the hood. I'm out there wearing my striped uh, Mr. Zero sweater and dancing around like an idiot. But anyway, along with uh, all the other things I bought, I spent all the money. I'm, I'm making minimum wage working two hours at a weekday. So you do the math. Went out and I bought, tried to update my makeup. Because this here, this is Ben Nye's uh, Clown White. Um, I bought this, or my mother bought it for me, probably in the early 90s. This is probably like 20 years old. Uh, I've never, I haven't used it all the way up. I've used it quite considerably, especially doing Mr. Zero. So it's 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 getting close to being gone, but it probably is time I updated it. Um, and so since I bought this stuff, I figured I might... Um, do uh how to how to do a Mr. Zero makeup. There are plenty of tu tutorials on how to do uh, makeup. Mine's a lot more basic than other people's. You can tell just by looking at it. But I go for very basic. I've had a lot of people comment on the times that I go public as Mr. Zero and the makeup that I've had like oh, they like it. So um, I stick to it. I, I like it anyway. It's very simple. Uh, it's less messy than doing a traditional clown makeup. This is probably more early traditional is what I do than what people do now. A lot of people, a lot of clowns cake on the makeup. Even if they're, like, trying to go for a flesh tone, they still put on a flesh tone base. And Like, if, if you don't have to do that, why? So I'll do a little tu tutorial. You can see how I do it, and I do it in a very, very basic way. And uh, to do it, I will show you the supplies I use. I use Ben Nye's. This is my new one. 
Ben Nye's Clown White, Ben Nye's um, Cream Black, um, and then I have, I bought this at Walmart, this is a uh, shaving brush for putting on your, um, your uh, shaving uh, soap. I'm all mumbly today. <laughs> And, uh, last but not least, the most important part is the, uh, I use baby powder wrapped up in a sock. You take a sock, you fill it with baby powder, then you tie it off and cut it off and use that to set. You can buy the set powder and, uh, you can even buy cleaner for this. Um, I don't. I just wash it off. Soap has always worked fine with me. Shampoo works really good at getting it off. Lotion gets it off pretty well. And uh, since I don't cake it on, it doesn't take a lot of scrubbing for me to get the stuff off. Oh, and also important to have, you know, you might want to have yourself one of these. So when you begin to make yourself up look like a Mr. Zero wannabe, uh, I'm wearing clothes, just like regular clothes. You probably would want to put on an apron or something to cover up. If you have long hair, you'd want to tie it up or wear a hat, as I do. Um, just a warning, I'm doing this in, not in a mirror, so I might mess up a little bit. But, yeah, you take your clown white, or I take my clown white, I stick my finger in it, and I get some on my finger. I don't use a lot, so I don't have to get that much. I usually get too much, actually. That's one of the reasons why I need a hand towel. And then I always, I've always been taught to do this. You take it, and you put it in the palm of your hand. It's a little bright in here, so you might not be able to see it, but... And you just get it till it's a nice, um, warmed up, I guess. Nice and shiny color there. Then you take your finger. I dab it on. And I tend to do a little like crooked down here on purpose, believe it or not. Um I was doing this makeup in mind after watching um Batman's or a uh, Dark Knight I should say. The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger as the Joker, and I liked the way he did his makeup, and so I was kind of designing Mr. Zero's makeup, and the idea of if the Joker were to do a hobo or a goose clown, what that would look like. And uh, I guess now in the comic books, the, I, I just checked out the comic books. I didn't fully have time to read the comic and I didn't want to buy it yet because I did not have permission to do that but in the comic books the new 52 no word on whether or not Joker is actually dead I haven't heard but that's the story is the Joker is dead but there are other people trying to tribute the Joker and um, people are dressing up like clowns in honor of him and they're causing mayhem for Batman now and uh... with this washout I'm watching myself in the monitor and it's hard for me to tell if I got this on right I think I do I think I do this isn't as hard as I thought this, I can tell where I am on my face Oh, the other the other thing that you have to do if you want to be Mr. Zero is you have to grow a beard. So, ladies, um, if you want to look like Mr. Zero, time to stop shaving your face. I'm probably just putting too much on. I can't really tell because of the washout how well this is looking. But I guess this is, this is probably okay. Um, and so then... Then I just wipe my hand off. Baby wipes also work excellent for this. If you want to clean up your hands afterwards. 
But yeah, so the uh, the idea is kind of like a hobo clown idea. Kind of like if a person like the Joker were to do that. Looks good to me. And so that's why I, I, I was... As, as Mr. Zero, back when I used to perform with Violet, we used to have... We both had beards on. And I just would wear the nose. I would wear my nose. And the beard was part of the costume in my mind. So I've never gotten rid of that. And I usually don't enhance the beard at all. Some uh, hobo clowns, tramp clowns, whichever you prefer, um, will actually darken their... They'll grow out their beards and then darken it up with makeup. I've... Did a photo shoot where I did a makeup similar to Mr. Zero's, but it was a full face makeup, and I did red and everything in there. And um, that one, uh, I did darken my beard, but usually I don't. So that's why I usually have a beard in most of my videos. Now I use the cream black. This is going to be a little bit trickier to see how I'm doing. But... Now the eyes, now typically a uh, tramp or hobo makeup would have white around the eyes because the idea is as they're out getting covered with soot, they'll wipe away their mouths and wipe away their eyes. And apparently like back then, it would, they would, like their faces, that part of their face would look white and the rest of it would look dark. And so that's where that comes from. But I base it on, if you can tell, I get really dark around my eyes and I've had it for years ever since I was a kid I've had that problem and um... I don't... so I kind of enhance that, I kind of go for that look, that kind of that plus you know I was a fan of the Misfits and other punk, punk bands and spooky core bands and all that and they all darken out their eyes you know to look more I guess skull like and so that's kind of where this comes from. Plus, I already have it naturally. Plus, you know, it's insomnia. People claim that this is called by insomnia with something eyes. So that's what I go for. And I'm just rambling and mumbling. I don't know how well this is looking because I can't see. I usually have like a mirror that I look into with bright lights. And it helps me. Now, now typically, and I don't know if anyone ever notices this. When I'm performing as Mr. Zero, I keep this eye here. I try to kind of make it a little bit like going left and right longer, I guess is the word. And I try to make this eye a little bit taller just to give him an unbalanced look. Um, I'm not going to try to do it so much this way because I can't really see, even if I'm doing a good coating on this one. I just dab right in. I don't use brushes. Now since I'm covering over my left eye, which I'm feeling is my good eye. Even though I'm right-handed, I think my left eye is probably my good eye. I'm pretty sure my left ear is probably my good ear, too. Check out that ass off. There's a delay now between me and the camera. So it's, it's kind of weird. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm probably making a huge. Yep, I got too high on my nose here. You can always just straighten out. And the thing is, what I love about being a character like Mr. Zero is. Correctness isn't part of the deal. Political correctness. Um, basically, like most clowns will say, everything that's good about me is my clown. Mr. Zero is probably like, every negative trait about me exemplified. He's troublesome. He's clumsy. He's mischievous. At least I'm trying to make it that way. Doesn't always come out. Probably doesn't translate as well. Everything that's wrong about me, that's Mr. Zero. 
And, uh... That's that. Now, this is... This is the part that I'm sure every clown will tell you. They love. And I've seen this done different ways. I learned it the one way I did it. And I watched videos. And I've seen them do it this way. You just put, um, baby powder. And sprinkle it on your face. And then I'll do this, too. And, uh, you let that set. <laughs> and that's how you get your makeup set. Now look, I've got it all over the place. Just take your... That's what the brush is for, folks. This is why you normally want to wear an apron, because it gets messy. And then you just start... I'm going to get the, uh, powder, excess powder off your face. It's all in the beard. That was the exact opposite effect of the coal dust. <laughs> Ugh, it looks so messy now. What are you talking about? This is probably the messiest makeup job I've ever done. I wish I had brought a mirror down here. So I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Hey. And so after powdering. I think I've kind of spread my makeup a little bit. I didn't powder probably well enough. Hmm. Ah! I forgot to mention the most important part. Ah. So... And that's this, right here. This is called the Pro Nose Nose. It's the Auguste style. It says A-U-G for Auguste, which is the dumb clown. Also works for tramps. A lot of tramps will do more of a natural looking nose. Some will do a red nose. I'm not saying Mr. Zero is a tramp clown. It's just he's kind of based on a tramp clown kind of look. Got some sort of makeup or something. I'm going to wash this. Now these you can wash too. Although most noses you can wash. Some clowns like to do a putty nose. Um, I just like having a nose that I can just grab rather than having to make a nose. That's why often I'll use this nose here. This is $2, 2 or $3 for one of these at a Halloween store. And people like it because it squeaks. They expect that. And a lot of time I'll use that. But I've been wanting, I, I paid $13 for this, you know, even though it was 10, 10 years ago. I'm going to use it, darn it. All right, so that fits on the right there. Is it going to stay on? No, of course not. So that's why I went out and bought me this, finally. Um, ben Nye's Spirit Gum. Mm-hmm. Press, press, oh. Just reading the instructions. I had uh, some other spirit gum, and I it was losing its tackiness, or it wasn't working very well. So I decided I needed to go out and buy more, and that's the whole reason why I went to the costume store in the first place. So you just kind of spread on the spirit gum. Mmm, it smells so. Yummy! It smells like rum, actually. I'm probably applying way too much of this. That might be one of my problems, is using too much. 
then I'll go a step further and I'll paint some on the interior of my pro nose. Whew, it really smells like rum. Like not just alcohol, but rum in particular. And you can see my nose is getting shiny. Tap until tacky. That's what it says in the instructions. Tap until tacky. It is now tacky. Grab your prosthesis and uh, fly. And yeah, this feels a lot more secure than the other spirit gun that I used to use. And this is Mr. Zero. Hey, what's up? Check me out. Mr. Zero, the clown. I got a muddled voice. You don't know where I'm from. Uh, I got the lips, the eyes, my goofy hat, stripes, other part. The stripes are also like, you know, according to lore, the stripes were for like regulating outcasts. Um, only outcasts would wear stripes in like the medieval times because people didn't trust them. And so I guess supposedly like jesters, um, minstrels, lepers, etc., etc., and prisoners obviously would wear stripes to kind of segregate them. And so that may be true. I just like the look of stripes too. It's a Freddy Krueger thing. So yeah, that's staying on pretty well. So and this stuff, this is about eight bucks here. So. But it feels like it's a good investment already. So there's my spirit gun. And that is how I put on Mr. Zero. So whenever you see a video, now you know how I do it. Now you know how I get into in, And, you know, as you see, I start getting more into character, too, when I do it, too. You know? So, I don't know what more you vultures want from me. This is how it looks. This is how it's done. Um, expect to see uh, Mr. Zero video. I've got a really funny one coming up. So expect to see that soon. And until then, in communication! Bye-bye.